Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on Alltrix hands-on practice questions. In today's video, we will be using HTML parsing where we will pass the Nifty 50 data from the money control website. These are the tools which we will be using. So the important ones are highlighted. Moving on to the task, this is how our website would look and this is the output which we will be deriving in Alltrix. Now moving on to the how to get the data. I'll give this link in the description box. So this is the website we will be scraping. Here Nifty 50 is there and this is the table which we are going to get in Alteryx. To get the table what we will have to do is You have to right click here and click on inspect. Here on the network you will be seeing several first to refresh this. There's several names here. So one of the name is change table data. We click on this. Okay, I have used this request URL. So this gives directs me to this link where the data are in more organized form. Okay. So here after I have reached here, I'm doing right click and clicking on view space source, which will direct redirect me to here, which is the HTML code for the page. You should have some basic understanding of how HTML works. So HTML language works on tags. There are multiple tags starting from head, body and each tag which starts will again have an end. So if you see this head tag starting and then with a backslash it is ending. If you want to see our data, our data is mainly coming from line number 50. So you see TD, this, first of all this TR is for row, TD is for the data in the row. So for one row TR is this and the TR gets closed somewhere down. Okay, the TR gets closed down here. So if you see line number 116, it's Adani Ports, which is the second row. And before that, we have Adani Enterprise, which is the first row. So TR is for the first row. The value which we will need is starting from line number 50. So line number 50, we would need the name. So you just call it right. This is the Adani Enterprise. This value we will be needing as the name of the company. Then we would need the LTP which is 1920.30. Okay, LTP is there, then percentage change is there, volume, buy price, sell price, buy quantity, and sell quantity is 3360. So this is 3360. So from line number 50 to line number 77, this is the entire value which we will be needing. So now let's see how we will be getting this value. Starting on with Alteryx, the first thing which we have to do is use a text input tool. Okay, not a normal input tool. In that, give a name to the column, maybe link, URL, website, whatever you want, and paste the URL which we are referring to. So in this, I am using the second URL which I have received after inspecting the main page because this page, if you see, there are lots of data. That's why the HTML code will be more complicated to view. That's why uh, I have used the inspect to get the normal HTML version. So th the code which we are seeing just has HTML. But this page, if you see, it will have JavaScripts and everything embedded into it. So next is to use the download tool. From in the download tool, We'll just configure the basic one. The field will select the link which we are passing from our input. For output, we'll keep it as a string. Since we're keeping it as a string, this is how the data will be the output. So in download data, there will be one column, sorry, one row and the entire code which I showed you in here, this entire big code will be written in one line. If you want to check that, you can 
just double click here you can copy that into notepad and you can see okay the, everything will be in the same line a next task would be to just split this so we'll be using text to column we'll split the download data column based on a delimiter which is the new line and it'll split to rows the purpose of this is i just want to get the structure which is mentioned in this source code so every tag is in a separate line so now our output looks will be this as you can see there are 3 3 a to 1 records now instead of the one record which we were seeing earlier and uh, see the first is division then again there is a division so if we check our this first is a div div then div then there's a few spaces then there's a table padding so the same structure has been copied and see table padding is there the fifth then we have again after that we have the head okay so now we are getting the entire structure which is there in this source code uh, so one more thing to notice the logic here so in line number 50 we had our data so if you notice all our data is under the tag td which starts with this less than symbol okay for that i am using a multi row formula and creating a new field called a search one which has a type integer I am checking if the download data contains this tag td. So this is important. Okay, this is greater than less than symbol because if you mess with the, with the symbol, uh, if you do the give the closing symbol or that data will come as wrong, passed wrong. Then it is one else zero. Okay. So now next item would be so here if you see search is enabled. It is th th so it is all zero this is one so if you see this is td so whatever row which is starting with the td it is now assigned as value of one in the search column next i'm just filtering out using a basic filter to get only the values which is equal to one after i have done that i'm again splitting the data into three times okay first based on this equal to so what i see every value has equal to so this side and this side I'm splitting for that again I'm using the download data which is coming from the previous pass delimiter is equal to number of columns I'm keeping it only two okay and leave the extra in the last column this created two columns for us extra columns one and two so one is having this part and after equal to the other part is goes to 2. In the next text to columns, I am splitting again the column 2 which is the output of the previous pass. There I am using this symbol greater than. And again the number of column is 2. So uh, well, HTML there is not a hard and fast rule like we have JSON pass we have xml pass in all this but for HTML we don't have any passes so depending on the data you will have to use different tools to pass it so what i noticed here that after the equal to is gone okay this column which is there the, if i use this greater than symbol then i'll get the value here and the i mean the dimension value which is the volume which is vp and selling price and my numeric value is at the other side okay that's why i'm using this greater than so this greater than works on this column 2 and now you see uh, okay this dimension names came at the one side and the value came at the other side with the TD closing in the last one I'm the output of the previous one I'm taking and again I'm using this delimiter and dividing the number of columns to
so i get two more columns one dot three and two two underscore three okay since i have given that symbol right now this was the less than symbol i get the value here okay same here i get adani enterprises i get all the values now so one dot one underscore three is my column which will i will be using going forward i have used a record id to just start the value from one next i am using a transpose when i am just transpose keeping key column as row id and in my data columns i am keeping one comma one dash three so this is my output i'll have a record id the name is there and the value so now if you notice adani enterprises is here it has a value of 1920 0.47 0.47 and it goes up to 3360 okay so from column number 1 to 10 is adani enterprise then again from 11 to 20 it will be adani ports okay so each company has the 10 8 values sorry 7 values and 2 values are null because 2 rows were for the formatting part now we have got our output but we have to structure it in the way it is shown in the website so the other passes or the other uh, things i'm doing is just to get that structure now what i'm trying to do in the next is using a formula tool if you notice only the value which is a string which is the name is a string other values are numbers okay so i'm using a formula tool so where i'm using a regex match function i'm checking the value which i have received is a string or not if it's a string then i'll giving this column which is checked as string else it is a number so for string normally we'll do a to z and a to z small and caps but there are spaces in between few names that's why i'm giving a space then there's a dot for one of the names there is a dot i think tata somewhere it is tata cons dot okay that's why i have to give a dot there and this ampersand symbol i am giving because there is m and m okay so this ampersand is there and there is a semicolon also because the name has not been properly coming into our data okay that can be done change but for now i have not changed it's just i'm showing you so here is semicolon is coming with m and m and there's ampersand and semicolon for that purpose i have used this semicolon the regex match function if you're not using this then you will get only 49 rows but there are 50 companies in that list next i'm creating a column company where i'm checking if a string if the check value is equal to string then keep the value as it is else keep it null So now if it is a string i'm getting the company name if it's a number then i'm getting null so our next three at is at 11 column number 11 i'm getting adani ports okay i hope this is clear till now now once we have received it and the next step which i'm doing is the null values which we are getting in company is going to populate it with the same so if the column is null then take the value from the previous company name else keep the name as same for doing this one which is filling the blank i am using the multi row formula so if is null of company then row minus one company which is the previous row value i am populating else keep the same company so same company means if you see row plus one here if you are dragging this either you can write it as row plus one company or simply company because it will be the current row and row minus one is the previous row okay row minus one now for all the rows which corresponds to adani i am getting adani enterprises and then we have adani ports starting from 11 okay all the values are populated for the missing values in the company field then i am using a cross tab where i am grouping the data by company and changing the column headers name to value and i am doing a concatenate here is must to do either three of it okay we can't uh, deselect anything okay that's mandatory so this is how our output would look like now i'm getting the company and is in one score three i'm getting all the company names uh, 
I means to say when I'm doing a concatenate, I have used this separator. Okay. Initially, when I was doing, I just kept it as default. So default was comma. But again, we have to, if you see, we have to go and separate these values into different columns. Okay. But if there is a thousand separator in the numbers, okay, that's why you cannot use a comma, which is a default one. I have changed it to a pipe. Now I am just going to split this into seven columns so that I get all my values. I'm using again text to columns and splitting that one underscore three column, the delimiter, which is a pipe number of columns is three and leave the extra in the last column. Now from one underscore three one to one underscore three eight, we are getting all the values. I have used a select to just rename it. So one underscore 31 is the name. Then we have LTP percentage change volume by price, sell price by quantity and sell quantity. The only other change which I have done is for the percentage change. Okay. Which is a fixed decimal of 19.2. I've just changed it because I'm going to check whether to color it. I'm going to check it, whether it's greater than zero or not. That's why I have changed this to fixed decimal. And finally, as a output in the website is sorted based on the name. Okay, which is Adani at the first. I have done a sort based on the names in the ascending order. So this is the output which we are getting, which is very much similar to what we have. We have Adani Enterprises, the LTP percentage changes, sell and buy price. Okay, for all. So there are 50 companies in it. Uh, the final task it would be to color it and format it. For that purpose, I am using the reporting tool. I'm using a table. I'm using a basic table here. Uh, I'm using the name because see the name is here bold. Okay. So for that, I'm using a column rule for name and I've checked this format here, apply to all the data, which is always and kept Keep it as bold. This is one rule for names. Now for the other two, we need to color it. So if you see if the value is negative in the percentage change, the LTP and the percentage will be negative else it is a positive one. So for LTP, I have created two formulas. One is so you have to select this formula. If the percentage change is greater than 0, 0.0, then text color is green. And if it is less, then it is red. Same thing I have done for percentage change and LTP. Okay. And apart from that, for formatting this, I've used the default table settings. So here by default, the alternate color will be gray. So I have just made it white. I have gone to header and made it as bold. And here also the alternate color, sorry, the background color was gray. So I have just made it as white. This is okay. Uh, no profiling data is available. Fine. Here, if you see the report, this is how a report would look like. And to just get it in a PDF, I'm using the render tool and I have chosen a specific path to show the show it as a PDF. Okay. I'm storing it as a PDF in Porter and kept everything as default. And this is how my output would look like. Okay. So let's try checking it. We have already checked Adani things. Okay formatting also if you want you can check it once again so these are a bit highlighted this is a bold one this are called these two rows are colored the rest are normal and the let's check the last one last is vipro let me scroll down and show Vipro is red, which is 379.40 minus 1.12. Then this value matches 379.40004043 and 0. Okay. So we have successfully produced the same output as we had in a website in our Alteryx. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel for more such videos.